assisted body weight or air squats. This is going to be a video teaching you a progression into a parallel squat. Now, coaching points, teaching points to the squat. Uh, I have a safe uh, back squat technique video that you can find on this channel if you want to search through that in the search box. And that is for um, all back squats, but uh, this is going to be primarily talking about without using any resistance for uh, a beginner working on mobility of their ankles and just proper form in general. Okay, so big, uh, big coaching points on the back squat. You want to make sure that your feet are just outside your shoulders, your toes are slightly pointed out. Okay. And at the bottom of your squat, you wanna make sure that your knees are not going inward. And I will show you these things in just a second. Okay, you wanna resist the temptation of pulling your knees, uh, pushing your knees in, and instead um, point your knees outward as you're coming up from the bottom position. Your weight should be back on your heels as opposed to coming up onto the balls of your feet. Uh, actually, at the bottom of your squat, you should be able to wiggle your toes because of the weight being uh, shifted to your heels, okay? Because of that, your knees will not come past your toes. If your knees are coming past your toes, that means your, your weight is too far forward and we need to get your ankles more flexible, okay? So a way to progress into a full parallel squat is by using some assistance. And I'm about to show you a, a means of doing that, okay, by holding the handle of this treadmill behind me is going to be a way for me to assist myself back to the up position um, from the parallel squat okay you pull against the object in order to get yourself back to the upright position okay so let me talk you through those coaching points real briefly here before i show you the assisted squat okay feet shoulder width apart so here would be too narrow here is obviously wider than shoulder width. Okay, you want them just outside your shoulders and toes are gonna be slightly pointed out. This would be toes pointed in. Toes slightly pointed out are gonna be right here. Okay? Your weight getting back on your heels. At the bottom of your squat, you don't want to come up onto your toes. When you come up onto your toes, notice what happens to my knee there. It is getting out past my toe, okay? And that puts my knee, my patellar tendon there at a very uh, hard angle for it, okay? And it gets your weight too far forward to come up from that position, okay? So for the modified version of a, a, a body weight squat, we're going to put our hands on an object, as you can see at the top of your screen here. My hands are on the, the handle of this treadmill. Okay, I'm, I make sure I have a good solid base. Feet are slightly pointed out. Okay, I'm gonna sit back. My hips are going back first. Sit back into my squat. My hands are up on this rail. Okay, to where if I were to let go of it, I would probably fall backwards. Okay, but I'm here and I'm able to come back up due to assisting myself on the treadmill here. Okay. Once you get good enough to where your ankles are flexible enough and your, your weight isn't coming too far forward, okay, your ankles are flexible enough to be in this position and not use any assistance to come back up, then we can get to a point where we can add some resistance. Okay, but until then, okay, we don't need to add any load to our squat until we can get low enough to the parallel position, thighs are parallel to the ground, my heels are staying on the ground, okay, my knees are not coming past my toes. One more point I forgot to mention, as far as your knees, okay, I mentioned you don't want your knees to come inward on your way back up, okay, you want to keep those knees pointed out, where when you come back up, those knees are outward, okay, wrong would be here, right would be here. So I hope this helps you in your progression to getting better mobility and um, just 
better joint movement through your ankles, your knees, and your hips. Okay, um, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask me, and please subscribe, and thank you for watching this video.